Okay, now we're going to go to the trench digging on the push rod side. Remember, this is going on a 438 inch uh, small block. So we're hunting for volume as much as we can get with the 1206 entrance. Now I am going to be moving this over a little, but mainly what we're looking for, that's the smallest aluminum egg that I got right here. And what I'm going to do is I come in here right at the, sh at the short turn radius. And I dig. I do not let the power push it down. I do not want to take material away from the floor. I'm going to the side and up at this angle right here uh, so that I can get a decent dig. And I do not come back past here because boy you're playing with fire right here. You don't have much room that you can move this over. Uh, I think the biggest I've ever took this window was 1140 and that's getting real close to busting through so I try to stay around 1120 so I don't pull it past here I just go from the short turn radius till just before where that peaks out at what I'm doing is I'm opening that up a little bit to slow down that air even more by slowing down the air going into the bowl dramatically that makes it where it's packing more air and fuel up at the higher RPM. By closing this up, makes it bring more air and fuel down at lower and mid RPM. So this is number one, big cubic inch, big RPM. So we're going to try to feed this motor that big up that high. That when you take your finger and you feel it, you're going to feel a good debit. And I just know from experience from doing this, that I have cut over an eighth, between an eighth and a quarter inch in a trench with this egg on the bottom of the floor and at the top of the roof. Then I'm going to have to go in here and pull it in. But in order to gain access, now that I've got all the, the trenches dug, I'm going to go in here with my big cutter. <laughs> And I'm going to start pulling that back, trying to get the best window I can get. Now, in order for consistency to really come to play here, you have to leave one wall untouched. The wall that I'm leaving untouched is going to be this wall right here. I mean, you can see where I lightly grazed over it some, but it's basically untouched so that that side has got an instant center for me to be able to measure off of to know how far to move that wall. Alright, so my next step is going to be to widen the widths out right here to their maximum level. I'm going to go for an 1120 to 1140 window, maybe 1130 as a compromise, and try to pull all this in and get them all set. By doing that, it's going to take some of that sharp elbow out. It's going to allow me to get in there with this bigger cutter. What I actually need, um, I, I'm going to get me some new ones. I'm going to get me a big egg on just a little bit longer cutter. But the problem is when you get this big heavy weight swinging on there, man, it can get really hard to handle. The only die grinder that will do it is that I've seen is the one that I use. It's the only one that can remotely come close. So anyway, uh, I showed you how I went in there, dug that trench, and I dug it on the top. So let's go ahead and uh, try to widen the port up so I can gain some more access to it, okay? On the entrances, what I do is I set my snapper to a predetermined height, 1100 window, and see it won't even fit in there. Like I said, I haven't took any material out of that yet. That's just the casting. I'm using that as my IC or instant center. I'm going to go ahead and I take my big bird and I'm going to start pulling her back. I'm more concerned with the tightest point. 
okay, where it can go. See, right there, that little bit, boy, it cuts pretty quick. See, so I'm going to concentrate more on the bottom. <laughs> All right, it's just starting to go through. That's what I want. Now I'm gonna come back with my straight pointer, which don't remove near as much material and get that wall perfectly straight and probably move it about another 20 thousandths under. So I just wanted to show you, you gotta be real careful, real slow right here. But this is a majorly critical part of it. See, I still got some on the bottom half. I got the top clear. I work on the bottom and try to get it all level. But this right here is no doubt one of the most important parts because I would love to go in there and, and just tear that whole wall out. But you can't do it because you'll go into air and then have to weld and all that. So we don't wanna bust through. And that's why I say that, you know, going to a 1206, yeah, you might get the height, but you're never going to get the width straight back. Uh, I think, if I remember right, even if you have offset rockers and weld up the side of the head, I don't think you can totally get a 1206 straight back, but you get real close to making a straight pull, and that's an incredible thing. Really makes a lot of horsepower when you do that. All right, so I'm gonna go on in here and then I'll switch to my finger and show you how I've totally straightened it out and move it over to the last little bit because that's about all I care to do. Just experience has told me that you start pushing her any more than that and you're gonna bust. All right. Now with this here, like I said, um, All we're doing is trying to fine tune. See, right now, it'll go through on the top, barely on the bottom. So the finger is real good about some removing small amounts of material. And you can dance up through here, but... You just take a little bit out at a time. Okay, like I said, I'm, I'm plenty good on the top. Then you just keep doing it. All right, now I'm starting to get a pass, and all it's got to be is just a little bit. All right, but that's how I'm doing it. Notice how I'm concentrating on the lower part. It's just kind of dangerous. You get in here doing it like this, it gets a little shaky, I mean to tell you. All right, but that's how I'm doing it. Just wanted to go over that part with you right there and show you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and continue on, and the next part you'll get to see me do is I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, clear the side part off uh, the push rod side where I dug the trenches going on down the port because now that I've opened that up as far as it can go and blended it to a point I've got a piece to pick off of and pull that in and come now we're gonna go in there and take out our clover leaf but I wanted to show you something real quick first I'll try to pull it in there a little bit alright when I say clover leaf like I said that's the trench here and the trench here on the top but we also had a trench on the top where I raised the roof. And then I'm going to try to bring you over here. I don't know how much of a shot I'm going to be able to give you because of the push rod area. Okay. There's a trench right here. 
and then right here and it's it's pretty deep there and there so i i got a trench here and here then on the top right there and right there and then i already took care of the one on the top and leveled it so this is a serious heavy material removal uh, the whole purpose of this video, once again, was to show how well, how fit and durable these castings are. And uh, taking a 200cc intake runner to God knows what this thing is going to be. I know it will be over 230 without a doubt. Uh, that's short. Uh, that's an understatement. But anyway... I just wanted to go in and show you so far it's took it pretty good I'm, I'm hoping I can finish it up and not have any problems if this casting takes all the I mean this is one of the heaviest trench jobs I've done in a while for serious material removal and like I said it was done just for the sole purpose of showing you how good this China head is alright so I'm gonna go ahead let's zoom back over here and I think I can get you a pretty good shot if I can get my die grinder to it. All right, what I'm going to attempt to do now is show you how I go in there and take the clover leaf out. Okay, I'm going to show you the straight wall side. I know I'm not going to be able to show you the push rod side, but I think you'll get the idea from it. So let's go ahead and, and do it. I'm going to try to keep this glove out of the way. Notice I'm starting at the heaviest part, or the one that the part that protrudes out the furthest. Continue on till it starts to bust and then put it back on you. 